So it says three 10 ohm resistors are connected in a series with a 9 volt battery. Find the following. It wants the equivalent resistance and the current running through each. And then it says repeat the case where all three resistors are connected in parallel across the battery. So what we have is we got these 10 ohm resistors. So we've got one, two, three uh, resistors that are all connected in in a series and so we want to find the, the equivalent resistance when they're in a series it's R1 plus R2 plus R3 so we just we have three of them all the same so 3 times 10 we have a 30 ohm resistor so that's answer to number to part A is 30 ohm equivalent resistance and then the current running through each well you know that the delta V is equal to I times R the current times the resistance so we just divide by uh, the, the voltage by the resistance and we get I equals uh, 9 volts divided by 30 ohms 9 over 30 is equal to 0 0.3 0 0.3 amps and then whenever they're connected in parallel you get the you get um, 1 over 1 over 10 1 over 10 plus 1 over 10 plus 1 over 10 that equals uh, 3 over 10 and you get that to the negative 1 power so you get 10 over 10 over 3, so the inverse of, of the sum of the uh, inverses of each of the resistances. In other words, the equation is 1 over REQ is equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3 dot dot dot. So uh, when you add all these up, you, you get 1 over the uh, the equivalent resistance. So you got to take the inverse of both sides to the negative one and it gives you REQ. So that equals REQ. And since the resistances were all 10, so 1 over 10 plus 1 over 10 plus 1 over 10 is equal to 3 over 10. Take the inverse of that, you get 10 over 3. So that means it's roughly equal to 3 and 1 third, or you could say 3.333. And then it wants you to find the, the current. And so in this special case, what you have to realize, so in parallel, whenever let's say that this is my voltage source, and then it comes out and it goes to a resistor here, comes back, but it also has another resistor here, comes back. The voltage going to each of these is the exact same. So the, the, the voltage is equal to, so that doesn't change. For, uh, like if it's in a series, um, if it's in a series, the voltage going to the second resistor is going to be less than the first and the voltage going to the third resistor is going to be less than the first or the second but in a parallel the voltage going to each resistor is always the same and so the change in voltage has to always be the same going across each resistor so the change in voltage right here is equal to uh, is equal to the current going through that one times that particular resistor not the equivalent resistance it's that particular resistor. So you have to take that particular resistor is 10 ohms. And so you just do voltage over 10, which is 9 over 10, is 0 .0 0.9. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure you check out my blog. The link is down in the About section of this video. And on the blog, you'll find cool stuff like other videos for the same chapter. And you'll also find uh, little download links where you can download calculators to uh, basically just punch in your numbers and solve these exact problems. So you won't even have to watch the video if you don't want to. The last thing I want to say is if you leave comments on YouTube, of course I will get around to responding, but I'm much faster if you leave them at the bottom of my blog, right down there. Enjoy your day.